Simon Wilson does his no money challenge. I'm uh, apparently doing a no food challenge. I need food! Ah! Well, this is gonna be interesting. First time in Poland, finally in Gdansk. I think it's Gdansk, or is it Nanks? I'm not sure. I think it's Gdansk, not Danks. It doesn't really matter. First time here, super keen. Time to drop the bag off and then uh, let's explore the city. Let's go. I'm gonna say this way. I don't know what that hand movement was either, but you know, I'll go with it. Finally dropped off my bag. Finally in Gdansk, Danks. I still haven't worked it out, but we'll go with it. I'm heading to Neptune's Fountain. I'm on a street called what I believe is Deluga. And again, I don't know with these pronunciations, I'm just going with it. I reckon this is one of the most stunning streets I've ever been on. I don't know where that smell is coming from, but whatever it is, it smells amazing. If you've been watching my videos, you know I've just come from Finland and Norway and some really extremely cold temperatures. So, uh, if you see me just in a polo now, you'll think it's quite warm. It's really not. If you look at everyone else, everyone's in jackets or jumpers or both. And uh, yeah, it's um, it's currently eight degrees Celsius. But trust me when I say I am sweating. It is very hot. Oh my God, they sell waffles. I will be going back here later. Oh my God. My, uh, my diet on this trip is going out the window. So, uh, that's Neptune's fountain. Uh, hmm, to be perfectly honest, it's um, it's not a Trevi fountain, but it, it's, it's cool. The view of St. Mary's Basilica behind me is uh, makes that spot way more stunning. That is amazing. Wow, that is a stunning building. Patterns on that is amazing. <laughs> the real Amsterdam feel about it. Just the style of the buildings, the, uh, the canals, the very Amsterdam like. Hi, excuse me. Can you take your photo, please? Uh, yeah, of course. Damn, this place reminds me of Amsterdam so much. I'd already said it, but it's crazy. Everything looks the same. I'm, uh, I'm thinking I'm going to have to eat down there tonight. Like, just everything about this place reminds me of Amsterdam. All positive, by the way, because I loved Amsterdam. It's one of my favourite cities, so... And then we walk a little bit further, and we enter Dubai with the, the gold building quite random just we go from Amsterdam to Dubai in like two steps but I think it's time to head back because I now need to go pick up my luggage and then head to the hotel 12 seconds later wait do people still really do that really go to a bridge and put locks on like is this still a thing like come on peoples in other news I don't know what that is I don't know if it's just someone some random person's house I don't know if it's a famous monument I have no clue and there's no signage but it looks spectacular. It is like, how cute is that? Okay, so right next to all the silly people that put the locks on that bridge um, is this really cool monument. Again, I'm not very good with names because I don't know what this place is. I don't even know what it's about yet because I just got here. But... Jan, Jan Helsik is the person. No, I got no idea. Look, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna have to do some Googling and some research right now because I have no idea who that is and I have no idea what that is. All I know is that looks spectacular. If I had to guess, it actually looks like a bunch of um, constellations in the sky. Now, something I do actually know, I'm currently walking through Old Town, which was completely destroyed in the Second World War. What they have done is they've completely rebuilt it as it was supposed to be like in the 1500s. So unlike most old towns in Europe where it's mostly original, the town here in Danks, Poland is uh, very much a recreation of what was um, due to the unfortunate situation of the, uh, the Second World War many years ago. 
So fun fact, there you go. Who knew I had it in me? So the other thing to take note of is make sure you stick around for this video because I, uh, I'm very curious as to what dinner is gonna be like. And I know that sounds really weird, but just hear me out. For the last few places, there hasn't been very much of a, I don't know what you wanna call it, like a restaurant scene, I guess. Food has been very lackluster. It's, um, don't get me wrong, it's been very, it's been very good, but your options are very limited in the Scandinavian and Baltic countries. A very pleasant surprise to see hundreds and hundreds of different dinner and lunch food options. I'm, uh, I'm quite excited for dinner tonight because I think I might get a little bit creative. We'll see how we go. But yes, I'm, uh, I'm not in the mood for Western food. Western I do food want something, nice. maybe nice. even a traditional Polish food, maybe. Well, uh, we'll see how we go, but I, uh, it's going to be interesting. Uh, slight problem. GPS took me to this side of the train station and my luggage is on that side next problem normally you can just walk underground to get across over there at any other place on planet earth no not here in poland in poland that doesn't exist you have to walk a kilometer and a half that way to then go around the train tracks to walk all the way back here makes absolutely zero sense anyway here's what it is Tell you what, 15 PLN for a pint, which is about four Aussie dollars for a pint. All my Australian friends out there, just let me repeat what I just said. Four dollars for a pint. For all for everyone else around the world that's watching this and has no idea why I'm like so intense about that. Is in Melbourne for a pint, you're looking at about $16. This video might get interesting. Let's just say that. Luggage collected, let's order this Uber and get to the hotel. After nearly 20 minutes of trying to connect to an Uber, we finally found one. So, let's go. Australia. Australia, yeah. Australia. You from Poland? No. Where are you from? Uzbekistan. What made you move here? Okay, so I'm finally in the apartment and uh, let's just say it was a bloody mission to get here. I swear my Uber driver was blazed. Record a little bit of it and then my GoPro died. Then when he dropped me off, turns out I was completely the wrong spot and for anyone that's been to Europe before, you know that sometimes the footpath is just cobblestone. So walking a kilometre with a heavy suitcase on cobblestone was not fun. I'm now finally here in the hotel. I'm gonna relax for a little bit and watch some TV or something cause, or even pass out because I'm exhausted, but I am ready for dinner tonight. So next time you see me, we'll be going to dinner. Let's go. And I'm finally back out of the hotel. I, I just completely passed out on the, uh, on the couch in the hotel. So we are now back out here. Ready for food, I am hungry, I need dinner. Pretty keen to see what how creative we can get, if any. And this city. Okay, so there's a the hard rock cafe just there. But if you are one of those people that travel and you go to the hard rock cafe at every single location you travel to, because that's what's comfortable, you travel to experience new things. And then I see all these people post on Facebook that say, oh yeah, we went to the Hard Rock Cafe. You travel to experience new things. Don't just go eat the same things you have all the time. McDonald's at least, it's like different, different sorts of uh, different things that they sell in each McMac is like. Hard Rock Cafe is the same menu across the world. There's the famous goods. That's a nightclub. Gotta make sure I don't walk into a strip club. That's what I ain't looking for. I ain't going in there. Oh man. I want a Mexican, but not, I don't want to line up that much. Six and a half hours later. The good news is there's, uh, there's lots of places open. The bad news is that any place open now at like almost 10 o'clock is gonna be generic food. 
This ended up being the last place on my list, but it's also the only place that's open now. We've got Pizza Hut here as well, another chair one. Be good, be good, be good. Oh, they're shut. No, they're shut. We're gonna have to get billions. We're getting American food in Poland. It's not what we wanted. That is not what we wanted. Billy's is also shutting. Ah. We're gonna end up with KFC. After all that, after all the wind up, we're gonna end up with bloody KFC. Oh no. That is not an ideal moment right there. Macca's and KFC were both shut as well. So uh, at this stage, I'm going hungry tonight. I'm in Wilson does his no money challenge. I'm uh, apparently doing a no food challenge. Oh man, I'm so hungry. We need to get food. I need food! Ah! This is a real question though. What KFC and McDonald's shuts at 10 o'clock at night? I'm ranting right now, this is crazy. Instead of ranting, I need to focus this energy on my food. Or obtaining food, I should say. Alright, let's play a fun game. The next time you guys see me will either be the next morning or me sitting down in a restaurant eating dinner tonight. Russian roulette. What one is it? Let's find out. We got night club. We just need some music. How cool is this? What's up? That was super sketchy. Okay, you won't believe it. I found food. It's literally two hours later. It's 11 o'clock at night. So I'm sorry for everyone that I called out. I have to eat the KFC. I feel like I'm so hungry. I cannot wait for food. Let's go. I am so keen for food right now. I can, I'm gonna stop recording. I just need to eat. I'm so keen. This mac and cheese and chicken wrap, whatever you want to call it, from Poland KFC. It's the best KFC meal. Every KFC around the world needs this. I am back in the apartment. It is 10 past 12 at night. Time for a quick shower, then bed, and uh, I'll see everyone in the morning. It is about 10 a.m., it's about four degrees, and uh, raining, so completely different to yesterday. But luckily, the, uh, the World War II museum that I'm heading to now is only about a 10 minute walk, so hopefully the rain can hold off for as much as possible, and uh, it's indoors, so that's the plan. A few moments later, Morning everyone, it is my final day here in Danks, Poland and um, I just want to say really, I just want to say really quickly that uh, I decided not to show any footage after talking with some people last night and some family members and just different things and getting some different opinions. I decided not to take any footage while at the, uh, the War Museum yesterday just out of um, just out of respect for the families and for anyone that was involved in the horrible events that had happened in our past history um but what i can say is it was a very very surreal experience being at that museum um it was very well done um it was much bigger than i anticipated it to be and just kind of left me speechless that's why i'm struggling to put the words together now to try and explain to you guys how amazing it was for what it was just put it was just it was done really well and that's the best way I can describe it was that it was done really well kind of any other words for that I'm a bit lost for because it's it's a tricky one and it's really hard to explain but I couldn't recommend enough got plans to come here that it absolutely has to be on your list to go to the World War II Mu the World War II Museum and uh just ex just experience it because it's um yeah, it's very, it's quite interesting. Now, on a much happier and lighter note, Poland, thanks, apparently is known for its beaches. Squirrel ADHD moment. What is that bloke doing? Why is he like kneeling? So despite there being a multitude of cars everywhere, back, especially back where I was, apparently Uber's not allowed to pick you up from around here. So now I've got a 10 minute walk just to go get my Uber. Crazy. The Ubers just dropped me off here, and uh, there's no signage or nothing around, so I'm gonna have to figure this one out. A few people up here, so I'm at least heading to something that's uh, worth looking at, hopefully. 
whether it's a beach or a monument or what, I'm not quite sure yet, but uh, we'll get there and figure this out. Oh, there's people fishing. Lots of people fishing, actually. Three of them. You know, we might get kidnapped here. Tour guide Andrea has taken us to some tourist landmark, and uh, this is where we've ended up. This place is cool. I have absolutely no idea where I am. I know I'm in pol Holy, that is a big hole. I wouldn't want to fall down that. Alright, well, as I was saying, I have absolutely no idea where I am, other than the fact that I'm in Thanks Poland. Um, and this place is kind of cool though. Yes, as I said, I've got no idea where I am. Um, and I'm just wandering around aimlessly right now. But this place is kind of cool. It's time to leave here and uh, get back on the original plan and head to the fortress, like I was, uh, I was supposed to be doing. Um, but this place is cool. I'm glad I found this. I couldn't imagine too many Aussies have been to this exact location in Danks, Poland. Wow. Well, I don't know what it is and I really don't want to guess just because there could have been lots of things. And uh, this, is, uh, this is the challenge ahead. <laughs> so I was, uh, if Jamie Vogel was here, he could get me in his 4x4 and uh, I'll be sweet, but not the case. Oh, no, not it. All right. There you go. I am not gonna try and pronounce that, no chance at all. No chance at all will I pronounce that. Oh look, I see the fan bam, about 200 meters ahead. Have I caught up after all that? Man, you people walk slow. Be better. Uh, yuck, mushy. No, no one likes mushy. Oh my god, it's shut. Did not just walk all this way for it to be shut. Is it shut? That's a joke. 